Alright guys, today um, I'm going to be showing you a really cool card trick involving these two decks of cards. So last video I uploaded, I actually used two decks. Um, and this time I'm going to do the same thing as well. I kind of gave the idea to go over this really old card trick. Um, it's super, super cool. Um, and I, I guarantee anyone you do this to, that you're going to impress them. So here's what it looks like. So you can have your spectator pick any deck they want. It doesn't matter. They can actually pick red or black. And let's say, for instance, they were to pick the black deck of cards, right? So here's the here's how it works. So let's say they pick the black the black deck. The red one's going to be ours. We're going to do is you're going to tell them that you're going to look away. So in this case, I'm going to look away, but I'm just demonstrating it. Let's say what, while I'm looking away, you took the cards. You cut them, you flip the next card that you cut to face up, and then you went ahead and then you cut the deck just like that. So you should have a card face up in the middle. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn my head now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my head. And let's say I cut the deck somewhere. I take whatever card that is, and I put that on top, and then I cut the cards as well. And I'm squaring this up seriously so I cannot see it. Okay, so... At this point, I'm pretty sure the card is inside the middle of the deck. And what you do is the spectators, this is going to be their deck, right? You say, look, so there's no possible way that I'm going to be able to ever really figure out what card you picked, right? So go ahead, actually, you just hold on to that deck. I don't want to touch it. And what you do is you tell them, okay, so you picked your card. Okay, I have no idea what it is, but what I'm going to do is to go into my deck right quick, or right quick here. And I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction, or I'm going to go ahead and pick my own card. In this case, let's say, all right, so I believe I picked my card. You take this, now here's what we're going to do. Remember, this is the Spectator's card, and this is my deck, right? So let's go ahead and take the Spectator's card. What we can do is count this out just like this, right? So you take, let's say we get all the way to the Spectator's card, so we come down to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So here's the 30, okay? So we have the 30 cards, 30 cards down, and we have the 5 of diamonds. So this is the card that you actually went through, and you picked this card randomly just by cutting the cards. And this is your card, the 5 of diamonds. Now, there's no way that I could have seen your card. But what's actually kind of crazy is that we counted down 30 cards from the top of the deck. All I'm going to do here is count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and the 30th card is going to be the same exact card that you picked. Like I said, guys, I had no idea what card you would have picked, but this is the same exact one in the same exact order of the deck. So that is the trick, and if you guys want to learn how to do it, do not forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so there is a little bit of a setup when it comes to this card trick, and the only thing you have to do is actually take two decks and put them in the exact same order. So you can shuffle shuffle them up, do whatever. It doesn't really matter what order the cards are in. It just matters that they are in the same exact one, right? So once you have them in the same exact order, so you have, you just make sure you look at the cards, you make sure every single card is lined up with each other. It is the same going throughout the deck. All you have to do is take one of those cards and reverse the order so that, so that way you have them both in the same exact order but one in the reverse. Alright, so now at this point you should have the two decks like this both in the same order but one of them reversed just like I have the bottom one. Um, so the two diamonds is going to be at the front here and then as you guys can see back here this is going to be the five of diamonds and that's going to be the first card in this position but then in this deck it's going to be the last one back here. So you just have them in reverse order and what you do is you can actually have the spectator pick whatever deck that they want to, you can bring out the two cards, and if they do want to look at them, you can show them the cards, they're in no order. So at this point, you tell them, go ahead and pick red or black, right? So they're going to pick whatever deck they want, and what you want to do, let's say they picked red here, what you're going to do is you're going to, you make sure you display exactly what you want them to do, because you don't want them to mess up the cards. So you show them, you say, okay, so go ahead and take half the deck, cut that over to the side, and then from the pile you cut to, make sure to take the first card that you cut to, leave that face up, and then cut the cards on top so it's the only one that's face up. And you want to make sure they know exactly what they're doing or else, like I said, the trick isn't going to work. So while they do that, you're going to be closing your eyes or turned away. Um, so you you know it's, you really don't know what card they're picking, okay? So they really go through, they really cut the deck just like this, wherever they want to. They're going to take their card. In this case, it could be the Ace of Clubs, but you don't know that yet. You're going to cut the deck, or they're going to cut the deck, and they square it up, and you come back, and you're not going to be able to see anything. Okay, so at this point what you can do is make up a little small talk or just, you know, like pander around and kind of just like pick up the deck for two seconds and say, look, there's no possible way I'm going to be able to know what card that you picked, right? 
and you put it down on the table and all you're doing is you're getting a glance at the bottom card. So we know the card is the Ten of Clubs. So once they cut the deck, you say, all right, so look, there's literally no way I'm going to be able to figure out what card you picked. You just flip the deck over, look at the bottom card. In this case, it's the Ten of Clubs. So now you're remembering the Ten of Clubs. That's going to be your key card. So you tell your spectators that you're going to go to your deck now and you're going to make or you're going to pick your own card, right? So they don't see what you're doing, but in reality, here's what you're going to do. So you turn the deck away, they can't see it. You're looking for your key card, which is the Ten of Clubs, which is going to be right here. So you know the card right after the Ten of Clubs is going to be their card, which is the Ace of Clubs, just like I showed you guys earlier. All you have to do at this point is flip this card over, just like that. You're not cutting the deck, you're just flipping the card over, leaving this. Now it's, it's exactly like that. So that's why you reverse the order of the deck, that way you can find the key card. You leave this on the table, and now there's a few ways that you can bring about um, choosing or you know showing off the spectator selection. So in the performance, I actually just went ahead and counted the cards off the moment that I picked up the spectator's deck. But what you could do to make it a little bit more interesting, the ending, you can actually go through the spectator's deck first like this and show them, okay, so you happen to pick the ace, uh, the ace of clubs here, right? So you can leave that out jogged. You said, look, I went through my deck just like this without even seeing your card. I went through and happened to pick the same exact card as well. And then at this point, what you can do is like the double ending, basically where you say, okay, so not only did I pick the same exact card as you, but let's see how far down in the deck your card is. So then you can pick the cards up from here and then count out the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, so 1, 22, 23, 24, 23, 25, and then you can exactly count that same exact number of cards over here with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 cards just like that. So it is a super, super cool card trick with that double ending like I was showing you guys before. Your spectators really aren't going to know how exactly you did this and I really do like this effect. Um, so I hope you guys like it as well. Thanks for watching and if you want to go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.